Hi, I am Gerardo Huertas, Director for Disaster Management in Latin America. And I would like to share with you some of the work we've been doing in the Philippines, thanks to your continued support. Right now, we are sitting at the Cebu airport, waiting to um, be lifted for Panyan, where our assessment is going to start. So we will buy the medicines, a uh, short number of medicines, to carry the assessment and be able to help the animals that need it right away, until we develop the bigger operation. We will be meeting with our counterparts, the local uh, government veterinarians, and we're hoping to be able to cover the whole width band of the areas affected by the typhoon's path. We're meeting farmers and animal owners and documenting the impact and the stories of how Typhoon Haiyan affected them when passing through the Philippines. Uh, the cow has already fallen down and in, in, in uh, my because uh, uh, I got my, somebody to, to take care of that. Uh, when, the, when they let the cow stand up, cannot stand up anymore. Uh, I used to uh, raise the layer chicken for 12 years. That's the only livelihood I got and support my children to go to school. I lost everything. That's the capital I loaned from the bank and I, I might, I cannot pay now my debts. I feel so sad and sometimes I cry because for me, animals is not only for food or for, for me, animals has their own life, but they help us to grow. If there's no animals to like pig, chicken, one animal is one of our food. But in time of disasters, we need we need to protect animals because they has their own life. Their stories touched our hearts, and we knew we had to help. We visited many farms and offered veterinary help and care for their animals. This included pigs, poultry, goats, livestock, and even buffalo. We gave vitamin enriched solution to chicken, all the while checking on animal welfare and health. We assembled teams of Filipino veterinarians and set mobile clinics into the field. Finding animals, examining animals, and treating those animals in need. People brought their animals, their cows, their buffalo, their pigs, their dogs and their cats, and we treat them all. You could see just how important their animals were to their owners. And because of your support, we were able to provide life-saving treatments, maintain animals' health, and treat injuries. In this time, when both animals and people need help. Thank you for the World Society for Protection Animals. They help us and they give us, uh, they give us to be strong, to, to have a new, new beginning of life. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Together, we are ensuring in all communities, the people and their animals get help. Now we begin to look at their future needs and how these communities get stronger and recover. I want to thank you again. We can only do this because of you. Please continue to help us help the animals.
here in the Philippines and around the world. Thank you very much.